Today I'm going to be cooking Spanish style prawns with chili and garlic. It's a very famous tapas dish, really simple to cook. Prepare it and cook it in minutes. So what I've got here, I've got some organic farmed Asian shrimp which are really sustainable, quite cheap, plentiful amount, bags of flavour. What I've got here, I've got some paprika, I've got some lemon, I've got some parsley, I've got some chili flakes, some salt and pepper. Of course, a little bit of crusty bread to dip in the juices is fantastic. And what I've got here, when I've peeled the prawns, I've infused, I've roasted the shells off with some garlic and some olive oil. So I've really got almost like a prawn infused, shrimp infused oil, which I'm going to use to fry the prawns off. This has got bags of flavour. And all I've done is I've popped them in the oven for 10 minutes with a load of garlic in there, added some olive oil and infused it overnight. Strained it into a little measuring jug, just so there's nothing in there that's gonna. So I've got a clean, pure oil there. Okay, and I'm gonna use that to fry the shrimp in. To peel the shrimps, very easy. I like to leave the heads on, but some people, you know, for reasons of excess, they don't like to eat the heads. They're very easy to peel. So what you do, I'm gonna peel the head off there, take them off like that. Like I said, I like to use the heads because I think there's lots of flavour. I think they, and people like to eat them, they look quite nice. So you've got to sort of, I can cook that straight away. There's no bone, there's no shell or anything like that. And one of the important things to do is, is to take the intestine trail out. Some people like to, don't care about that, they're just quite happy to eat it. But personally, I think if I serve that in a restaurant, I like to make sure the intestine shells out. So again, I've got some here, I've left the head on, because that's going to flavour the oil as well, and I've taken the intestine oil out. So now I'm going to cook the prawns. I've taken all my ingredients over the stove, and I've got a hot pan. The pan needs to be really hot, because you want to fry the prawns, you don't want to boil them. So I've got the pan there, I've put some of the prawn oil into there. Sure it's lovely and hot before you add the prawns. A pan has been on there for a little while now, so I know it's nice and hot. Prawns in. Let them just fry for a little bit. Don't move the pan around. You move the pan around, you're going to take the heat from the pan. Let them fry. So we're going to fry them for about 30 seconds to a minute on each side. You can see they're starting to colour. They're starting to colour nice and pink now. all those lovely flavours in there. One of the tips is you don't want to overcrowd the pan. If I had more prawns in there, there's more of a likelihood that the prawns will actually start to boil. So never overcrowd the pan when you do it. Turn them over. So they've just had about a minute on there now. So now, I'm going to add the other ingredients. A few chili flakes. Not too many, depends really how much you like, how hot you like your dish to be. A little bit of the lovely smoked paprika. Just gives it that lovely smoky flavor. Keep it on there. Bit of fresh pepper. A little bit of salt. You don't need to salt much. Like any seafood, the key with seafood is you don't want to overcook it. If you overcook the prawns, they're going to go rubbery. And again, another really important tip is the seafood needs to be nice and fresh. Any seafood, mussels, lobster, crab, needs to be eaten within the first day. So, so to finish it off, add the parsley. A little bit of a toss. A little bit of lemon juice in there. Maybe a little bit more oil if you like. Take it to your dish. Serve straight away. Anything like this needs to be eaten straight away to ensure freshness. Get it in there, lovely dish, and then pour some of the juices over it. 
Spanish-style prawns. 